Hey everyone, finally brew day has arrived. I'm going to be using my buffalo boiler for the first time. Today I'm going to make a classic English ale using Maris Otter Pale Ale Malt. I'll just bring the camera over. Maris Otter Pale Ale Malt. East Kent Goldings, and normally for fa flavouring you'd also use East Kent Goldings, but I'm going to add a little twist and use Fugel. Um, also 250 grams of crushed crystal malt, I'm using four and a half kilograms of the pale ale malt. I've got 25 litres of mashing water in the mash tun, or the all-in-one, and eight litres of sparge water in my little baby burko. I haven't used this yeast before, I'm using Munton's Gold before I used uh, Garvin GV12 which is actually by Munton's uh, so hopefully this will do good and uh, just waiting for it to come up to strike water at 70 degrees I'm gonna at 75 is when I'm gonna start mashing in uh, I'm hoping that the boiler will hold its heat um, I'm sure it's going to lose some, but there's only one way to tell how bad it is from the start, and that's to try it. Uh, I did start off with this extension lead, and it liked to trip out on me, so I've gone for the good old-fashioned, ran it in front of the fridge, <laughs> extension cord. Right, we've hit just over 75 degrees. I'll flick her off. Time to start mashing in. Camera up here. Try not to get any lumps in there. Right, we're all mashed in. Pretty nice mix on it. A couple of small dough balls at the beginning, but I managed to sort them out. They're nothing major, but looks nice. I'll get the lid on. Right, right, I'll leave it for an hour, set the timer, and hopefully we keep up temperature. Started with strike temperature of 75, 67.6, still going up. Hopefully we hit 70 is what I'm aiming for, or anywhere in between 65 and 70, I'm happy. Right, so I'll set the timer, leave it for an hour, and uh, I'll be back later. Alright, it's been an hour, the uh, temperature's actually been really good, it went up to 68.8 and it's only dropped to 67.1, so I'm pretty happy with that, I mean, it's actually a lot better than I was expecting, so, now I'm going to take the grain bag out here, put it into the sparge and water tank, I'm going to leave it in there for 20 minutes and start bringing this up to a boil.
looks pretty good. I'll show you this quickly, actually. Before I drain it out, I'll give you a little look. There you go. Looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Right, we're back this one full, bring it up to a boil. I'm going to leave this in for 20 minutes and then I'll drain it out into this and then I'll bring it to the boil again. Right, we're almost that boiling, 94.8. Uh, 
and then drain all this out into there, and then bring it up to the bottom. Looking good. We have a nice rolling ball. All right, now to add the bittering hops for 60 minutes. We've got East Kent golden pellets in a bag. Nice nylon bag. Right, we give them 60 minutes and then we'll add the fugal later for flavouring. Now it's time for the 20 minute edition of the fugal hops. There's 40 grams of pellets. And earlier I didn't mention that the East Kent Goldens, it was 50 grams of pellets for 60 minutes. Right leave them to do their work. Boil's all done now, just running the raw chiller. Stuck the lid on top of the hose because it likes to fly out and make a little bit of water on the floor but not a big problem at all. Yeah so hopefully it cools down in a nice, nice time. Right, it cooled down the wort to, from boiling to 25 degrees in 25 minutes that I'm very, very happy with. Check the gravity, which is 1050 with a potential alcohol of 8%, which, yes, sounds all very good. All right, it's all in the fermenter now. Uh, got almost 23 litres. And this is its home for the next couple of weeks. Thanks again for watching. You've been watching Luke the Mad Hubber.